we're going to talk about checkout and credit card processing. So in a process to get your app to uh, validate a user, we would probably start with this. We would ask for a form. Uh, fill in your credit card number and name and date and all the other things. Then we'll save that to an object and then we'll proceed. So once we have the data in an object, we can either validate it using a database where we save the credit cards ourselves, or more likely, in a real app, you would use a third-party API. So you would use Visa's service, and you'd have to pay for it to validate that a card is actually valid. And uh, you can't actually get access to any uh, API services like this unless you're a real business for obvious reasons. They don't want people hammering their service, checking to see if random card numbers are actually real. Now, the third is, after you've validated that the card is, is true, it's actually a good number, then you go ahead and pre proceed to the next step, which is adding an item into your database and fulfilling the order. So here's how my app is going to look at this moment. I have a checkout button here, and if I click it, you can see that the first step is step one. It shows the table where my order is filled out so the user can see the total. And then I put a note in here that uh, tells you that I only have one valid credit card number in my system, and it's for John Q. Public, and here's his number. And then further down, you fill in the number here, and once if you fill it in correctly and all the data, then you can go ahead and proceed to actually register the order. So let's go and get all of the data correct. Let's see, 2020, and then confirm it. And then the order is complete, and it looks like Chrome offers to save this card in case it's actually a real card. Now the uh, process is done here. So if I go to the cart now again, you can see that it says there's nothing in the cart yet. It's uh, now been emptied, but it would be in my database. So let's take a look at the uh, code that I used to create some of this. So there was show cart. We've done this in the last tutorial. And if you notice at the bottom of the page, there are two buttons. One is for continue shopping, and the other is for checkout. And so checkout goes to a new handler called process checkout. So the process checkout has a bunch of code here that has a, a way to show the table. Uh, don't, don't actually copy this code, it's not that, not that good. But at the bottom of the page, I have the uh, credit card form. And so you can see I have an include file. So let's see where credit card form looks like. Um, here it is, credit card form. So credit card form is what you'd expect. It says we got uh, a bunch of fields where you fill in text items and then it has a select op option and then finally a submit button and it looks like I added some pictures of the credit cards. So where is the action on this form? So probably at the beginning here. Process checkout 2, I called it. So let's go see what process checkout 2 is all about. So process checkout 2 is going to require a item called credit check. Credit check PHP is kind of like the login. And so it'll just check to see if the credit card val is valid or not. So let's take a look at the uh, credit check PHP and see what that looks like. So it's really simple. So all I did is I created a bunch of uh, variables to capture the form items. So owner, CVV, card number, month, and year. And then I went to a new service called credit card service and it has, an, it has a method called authenticate. And if it's authenticated, it'll repeat it. And after that, we should move on to the next, uh, next step in the credit system. So what does credit card service look like? Credit card service is basically like the login service. We have a constructor that creates all the items, and then we have a process called authenticate. Now normally you would go look up a database and find out if this is actually a match. And here I hard-coded it right in. You can see the credit card number and the name and everything. And so that's the uh, process here to get through the first phase and get through your credit card check.